Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So I'm going to show you how you can reset your AdBlue um, counter. So if you've got on a message, I've got another Peugeot here, getting a bit common lately. We'll start the engine up there. You can see you've got an AdBlue light flashing over there with a spanner. Now over here, we get this message, engine fault repair needed. Starting is impossible in 100 miles. So I'm going to show you how you can reset that with a launch tablet. Um, should be very similar for a top down as well. Uh, this is the launch Euro Tab 2. So what we're going to do is find the ECM. And we're going to enter that. Once we're in here, so I can just show you the code. We don't need to do this to reset it, but that's the code we got there, P20E. It's getting a common code. Seen a fair few of these every week now. Uh, now we're gonna go to special function here. Service action. Work on the emission control circuit. And then reinitialization of the DNOX system false. Then we're gonna press OK, ignition on engine not running. Switch off to ignition. Now we're just going to wait for about 10 seconds. Now we can switch the ignition back on and press OK. Oh, I turned the ignition back on too quickly there. But yeah, regardless anyway, we have now should have solved the problem there. Let's start the van up. Ignition on start and asks and blue lights gone the spanner is gone and we should no longer have a message on here saying that we have a hundred miles left as you can see there no more warnings now using these computers there is usually a few different ways of doing it yep we're not gonna forget our VCI so usually you have different ways of doing it. So we went in through the diagnosing system there just because we wanted to read the code anyway. And you can go into the service function and you should get a AdBlue reset menu just here. You can go in and do it from this way as well. And we are going to pick Peugeot if we have it. And now for some reason it's not listed here, so you're better off going in through the diagnostic system and doing it. But, uh, change Ford, Fukang. Uh, let's see what happens if we pick Citroen, which is basically the same. Okay, engine off and ignition on. It probably won't connect. Yeah, this isn't supported. So you're better off doing it in through the diagnostic menu for this particular car because I can't see Peugeot listed on there yeah so yeah first way we've done it is the best way to do it and uh, that's just a quick video just to show you how to do that so now we're just gonna do a clear codes of all of the rest of the system and that's it we're done and we'll see you on the next video